Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada and this is Jada Solo Dances. I'm here to teach you how to break out of your comfort zone by becoming an adult skater. So something that many adult skaters love to complain about is the lack of doing off-ice training. What is off-ice training? Well, it's regular exercise. I don't know why figure skaters love to make all these fancy turns for stuff. It's exercise. Sure, it's like cross training it's supplementary exercise to your actual like ice training so it's kind of specialized for figure skating movement some of it's like jumps or spin training but it's just exercise i don't know like no one's going to mistake you for doing burpees on the ice but the bottom line is no one's doing enough of it over the course of four years of figure skating i've had two stints of physical therapy for my bum left hip every time i finished a round of physical therapy and i felt how effective the workouts were i'm like why can't my off ice be programmed like this and so i'm like how do i get exercises in such a way like physical or physical therapists do and luckily one of my physical therapists happens to do just that. I've been feeling stagnant in my training lately, on the ice, off the ice. I want to do more off ice training, but I can't seem to find the time or the energy. And I've not really been skating much over the last year, honestly. And I really want to get stronger so that I can do all these lovely, fun, like contemporary skating things I want to do. So, throughout the month of December, I partnered with my lovely friend Julianne Berg to do her Graceful Gains program. Graceful Gains is a monthly membership where Julianne will program about three to four workouts for you per week, customized to your physical needs, and they vary widely depending on what you're looking to do. You get a free discovery call. You get uh, a weekly check-in on the True Coach platform, which is the platform that she uses to program the workouts and you have the ability to message her pretty much 24 7 and she'll respond relatively quickly she does have a day job so like she can't like always respond to you the good thing about it is that she tries to include as many videos as possible to show the workouts because the training is asynchronous she's not doing the workouts with you although you can upload videos of yourself doing it for feedback on form I'll talk through more of the details about this program towards the end of the video, so stay tuned on seeing how you can be part of one of her future cohorts. I started on December 1st, which was a Wednesday. I was still kind of in the throes of like my final stuff, but I was like, damn it, we're gonna do it. So day one was, honestly, um, I couldn't walk for four days afterward. Uh, it was really good though. It was a lateral uh, leg glute pump kind of thing and I really love lateral workouts because again I have a really bad left side um, although nowadays my right side's kind of bad too so I don't really know like how much of that holds up anymore but generally I really love lateral workouts because I feel I can feel the difference uh, in strength so it's nice and assuring to be like oh well I am strong just not on this side I loved this workout I really did but it felt like it didn't like me <laughs> so um even though you know i struggled through some of the movements there were some movements i really liked but i was like i, I don't really know i don't really know if i can do this so um that night uh i couldn't walk a whole lot i woke up the next morning i couldn't move at all <laughs> and i thought that by the time i got to day two of my week which was friday uh, that we would um, we would have a little bit more of myself together. I, I was not. I still couldn't walk. I couldn't walk until that Monday. Um, so unfortunately, I did not do that workout. But you know what? I was hopeful. I was hopeful that I would be able to get through this challenge of doing all these exercises. Because, I you know, it really just means that I'm weak, right? And I haven't done off ice exercise and god knows how long before that point so week one was short because we started on a wednesday so week two i hopped in on the workout that i missed which was hip strength and man i love hip workouts i don't know about you guys but like clam shells like the the side lying exercises with your legs raising um even like glute workouts, you know, stuff that kind of works like that lower core back situation. 
um, are really my jam. I don't feel very strong, but I do find them fun and I feel the most growth out of them because uh, they're like not my strong suit. I don't love planks as much, but I do like all the hip stuff. So I felt a lot better going into this week uh, because it, I just felt stronger. I was just a, a much more put together person and I felt stronger because, you know, I had spent four days recovering from one day of exercise. Um, and then I was like, oh, I can actually handle this. I didn't really see any improvement on the ice yet, um, but also was kind of in the middle of choreographing for um, a portion of the show I was in for my club for our winter show. So there really wasn't room for me to notice growth because I was busy cobbling together a program, a uh, very short program, but yeah, I don't have any real video footage of it, sorry, but my family really sucks and my club for some reason didn't get a actual videographer, we got a photographer, which like, I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Anyway, week two was a lot better than week one. I got through, I think, two out of the three workouts. I'm not a perfect person, life got in the way, but I still felt confident going into week three. Week three was the week I started seeing progress on the ice, off the ice, just in my general feeling good. I did all three workouts that week. They were kind of a mix. So I had a conversation with Julianne. I was like, hey, you know, I kind of need to work on my active turnout. Is that something that you can help program? And she was like, yeah, I didn't realize figure skaters needed turnout. I'm like, oh yeah, totally tons of it you should hear how often my coach talks to me about turn i turn out so often have you done a mohawk exactly i think we're calling them c turns now but yeah like mohawks turn out so i got a turnout workout i got a hip workout i got a really fun circuit workout uh which is really fun because i used to do a lot of training at a gym called everybody fights back before covid hit and it was a great time um and that really sent me back into those moments and i miss that gym so much because they closed unfortunately due to covid in, in philly they still exist in other places in the east coast but the, none of them are here so i have to just settle with what we have here but i love that gym and so i really liked that this workout kind of gave like me good memories about what i used to do before um but overall i think you know i notice a lot of good growth in my spins just general power and stability on the ice uh, i saw a little bit of growth in my quickness uh in my dances so it was really nice to see that okay yeah off ice does actually help the skating thing unfortunately my cat started getting sick around this time, so week four was hmm, kind of a dud. Uh, my cat unfortunately passed away um, very, very late December, and so I was kind of doing 24-hour hospice care. Um, he was an old cat. He died at 15 and a half. I was kind of preoccupied with him slowly going away. So uh, I didn't do a whole lot of off ice that week. Uh, I think I might have done actually like one full workout in, uh, in earnest. Um, but the other two days I kind of stopped halfway through or I only gave like half my best. I didn't do full sets or skipped entire sets yeah and that like that's like a part of being an adult and accepting like you are in a, a figure skater you are an athlete but you're also a person first the things that happen in life um, don't happen in isolation and just because you're doing some kind of 30-day challenge doesn't mean that you can't pause that to see that you're going through stuff i didn't i didn't beat myself up too bad about not doing it because i still felt like i put myself in the position of doing more exercise than i had done all year and i felt good to me because i recognized i needed something different i needed something to reinvigorate me to skate to improve on my skating i think overall despite the last week and despite like you know some maybe some things could have been improved prog programmatically but overall i think this was a really good way of getting myself back doing off ice training and and skating and trying to really get back into that grind uh that i that i had myself in right before 
COVID was like a really bad pandemic level threat. Graceful Gains is a monthly subscription. It is $175 a month. I got this month for free for being a previous client of Julianne's. This program is good because it really does keep you accountable. Julianne programs the exercises on a weekly basis. She checks in and the actual app shows you what exercises to do and you can actually check them off and then also write notes. So there really is like a whole system around like doing the exercises and not just kind of like surviving off of YouTube videos. The programs are designed by an actual physical therapist. Julianne did go to school for physical therapy and because Julianne is also uh, a dancer and she specializes in things that help dancers like pelvic floors. So there's an emphasis on like core instability which is something that we need just as humans and especially as skaters. So it's really helpful to have like that extra like knowledge going in. If you choose to actually participate uh, in the cohorts every month, you'll choose a different like focus area I think it is good um, if you want just like kind of a, a holistic like dancer focused training because a lot of figure skaters do do like ballet and other kind of dance modes as cross training and so obviously doing the strength training that dancers also benefit from will also help you on the ice it might not help your jumps and your spins but it's definitely going to help you overall as a skater, much like how ice dance helps you as overall as a skater, even if you do free skate. So I think it's kind of worth it. Now, I have to say, I don't get any kind of benefits from you signing up with Julianne. But if you do want to reach out to Julianne, you can hit her a DM. I really had a good time um, just remembering how much I really do like exercising and doing kind of circuit work. Anyway, if you guys are interested in more, off ice type stuff please let me know in the comments i need to work on more off ice stuff so like if you guys are like jada please make more off ice videos um i will make you more off ice videos because that means that i actually have someone to keep me accountable to doing more off ice anyway i'm rambling thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time bye